So today I'm going to show you how to set up a system where you can have a drive-in event and broadcast your feed to the radio. I'll show you two ways of doing this. One is fairly inexpensive and easy to set up, and the other is a little more complicated, but it does give you more options. So with the first way, you'll take your microphone, guitar, music, whatever you want to be broadcasted, and plug it into a small portable mixer. The one I recommend is the Behringer Xenix 802. It's one of the cheapest ones you can buy and it allows you to have four inputs running at the same time. From there, you're gonna run out of your main outputs left and right to a quarter inch to RCA adapter cable. The reason you want RCA is because that's the only type of input that is on the FM transmitter that I recommend. I think this is the cheapest FM transmitter of this size you can get, but I have used it for over a month now and I haven't had any issues with it. It does say that it covers a half mile range, but I think it's more like a quarter mile. And the best way to figure out what channel you want to broadcast from is just trial and error. So just find a clear channel, try it, and see what works for you. Both of these things you can power off of a cheap car power inverter. Something like 300 watts is more than enough power for this setup. So if you want to be able to run a bigger live band or have loudspeakers to give people the option of listening outside of their cars, you're going to need a generator to power this. I've used this 8500 watt generator for our setup and it works great. It's just loud, so put it as far away from your stage as you can. And here I am using a Midas M32 console. It's basically identical to the Behringer X32, just more expensive. So I would recommend using the Behringer for this setup. I have some studio monitors set up so that I can hear what's being broadcasted to the radio, which is a slightly different feed than what's going to the loudspeakers. You need to broadcast full volume at all times going into the transmitter or else you'll have a weaker signal when things get quieter and that brings more static to the feed. So on the broadcast matrix, I have a limiter and I also have another aux send feeding into the matrix that contains the host mics, pastor mic, video audio, and pre-service music um, to boost them to match the volume of the live band. You want to come out of your aux outputs one and two to go into the FM transmitter. And this is the same FM transmitter that I mentioned earlier. And you'll patch your broadcast matrix to go out of aux one and two. I have found that the positioning of your transmitter really makes a difference. So try to get it as high as you can to cover more distance. Um, I just gaff tape it to a pole and that works for us. So that's the basic setup. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.